Good evening. I'm Stacy Scheibel. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're going to start with some breaking news. It is tragic news in Lakeland tonight. A seven year old girl is dead, and the reason appears to be a generator that was left running inside a home. And News Channel 8's Stefan Dingle just got to the scene. What is the latest there? Good evening, Steve, Keith, and uh, Stacy. Uh, this home right here, this is where police say uh, they got a call just before noon today. And inside of this bedroom, they say that a, a 41 year old mother and her daughter were in here sleeping. The mother woke up, and then uh, she said that her daughter was unresponsive. If you take a look at this photo, the sheriff's office sent out this picture. It was all because of a generator that was running in the living room. Uh, somehow, some way, uh, the carbon monoxide from that generator uh, was siphoning through the fan that was in a room blowing onto them. And if you look at the video we shot, we uh, when we arrived here to the scene, we just caught the family members leaving in their cars. I tried to speak with them. They, they were obviously very shaken up. They did not want to speak with me on camera. Uh, but it just underscores how important it is to, to make sure you take safety precautions when it comes to generators. A lot of people around here do not have power, so they are relying on those generators. And obviously when you lose uh, any loss of life, especially a seven-year-old child, it's obviously heartbreaking. We spoke with the Polk County Sheriff who expresses those sentiments. I mean, I have grandchildren this very same age as this beautiful young lady. And you, you understand, it hurts, it, it breaks your heart. And what really frustrates us is mom was just trying to do what was right, but she wasn't following the rules, and that's why we have a person dead. Thank you. Uh, obviously, again, a seven-year-old dead tonight. I did speak with one neighbor, and this is what makes it even more heartbreaking. She told me that a good Samaritan had just given the mom a generator because they had an extra one just yesterday. So here, a day later, she loses her seven-year-old daughter. We're live in Polk County. Stefan Dingle, News Channel 8. That's just awful. Gotta follow wow. the rules. Wow. Wow.